Hello and welcome back to Milk It Reviews. <coughs> Knives, sharps. We've all got a thing about knives, haven't we? Right, and I've got a thing about good quality knives. Right, and that is something that, to me, is the singularly most important aspect of any knife is that it's of good quality materials. Then we take a look at the design of it. Now, straight away, I mean, I've, I've got a number of 511 knives, as you know, if you've watched the reviews. And, don't tell my wife, but I've got my eye on a few more. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, right, I mean, it's, it swings and roundabouts with a lot of knives. Unfortunately, with us in here in the UK, we have an awful lot of restrictions, what we can and can't do, right? Um, they haven't banned pointed sticks yet, but it won't be long before they do. They'll probably find a law somewhere down the line they could <laughs> use against you. I mean, in fact, I could think of a couple they could use against you for right at, at the moment. But this what we have here is the Tento Surge. Right, um, it's made out of Oz8 steel, which is a very common steel to have knives made from. Um, it works very, very well. It's a, a form of stainless steel. The edge retention is extremely good with Oz8, right? Um, and the ease of sharpening, which is another major plus point, right, with any any knife. Um, we've got the Tanto shaped blade which is incredibly good. Any of you that have already got a Tanto shaped blade right, will know that it's exceptionally good at penetrating particularly tough um, areas to say the least. Right, it's, um, I seem to remember that it was actually designed by some Japanese master swordsmith right, uh, several hundred years ago, hence the name Tanto, and it's remained a top, top sort of armour piercing design ever since. Right, um, hence the use of it on a lot of tactical uh, blades. The scales are of G10, and they've got a nice, and I, I say a nice level of grip. Some scales can be just too abrasive, and they can lead to, if, if you was gonna use this, depends on what you're gonna use it for, I should say. If you was gonna use it as a sheath knife, right, for lots of different applications, then some very heavily um, uh, textured grips can be too textured if you follow me right they can make your hand sore it, it, and again right it, it depends on the usage if you're using this right as it's sort of intended sort of back up tactical stroke sort of defensive tool right for as and when needed then it's not so bad but the actual grip on the g10 scales of this knife right are very good i'm, I'm quite impressed with them as i am the edge on the blade um, every 511 knife I've taken out of the package, right, the packaging I should say, has had an exceptional edge. Right, and this is something I'm very particular about because there's one particular knife manufacturer, right, and they probably turn out the cheapest sheath knives on the planet. Right, um, those of you that know your knives will know who I'm referring to. I'm not going to mention any names, but when you actually take one out of its sheath, you can shave with it. Now, the way I look at it is, is if the, if, if a a manufacturer of that particular brand can get a blade that sharp for the price they're selling it at, then every other manufacturer that's charging more for their products should be able to do the same. Now the thing is with this, there are some major knife brands in this world, 511 is not one of them, right, that actually ship their knives so blunt I would consider them to be dangerous to use. Right, um, I've got a couple of their knives and I've spent a long time sharpening them before I actually used them. Right, but these 511 knives have all been sort of razor shaving sharp when they come out of the packaging, which is good testament for the uh, the quality control guys because it can very easily land up where things like that get overlooked. Right, um, the overall length of the, the, the knife is 8.85 inches. The, um, the blade length, right, is... And I would guess that's the length of the sharpened 
gauge, so from there to there, right, you're looking at four and a quarter inches. Um, there's not a huge amount we can say more about the knife itself, right, it's got a very, very good, right, black oxide finish on it, and it is very well done, right, and it, you, you can tell just by looking at the finish on it that it's been put together very, very carefully, right, the, um, the, the finish itself has been carefully selected for the type of knife that it is. Right, you've got yourself a good butt end to this. I'm always a bit um, dubious about the butt ends of knives because depending on what you're using it for, right, that could come in very handy as an impact tool. Right, you've also got um, a lanyard hole there should you want to put a lanyard on there. Um, so not a, a huge amount more that we can actually say about the knife itself, but the sheath. It's a polymer sheath, not sure if it's Kydex or not, but it's very similar. Right, the sheath itself is an absolute work of art. Right, it's been very, very carefully formed. A bit like me. So I keep trying to tell my wife. Right, but no, it's, seriously though, it's um, it's very very well formed. It retains the knife beautifully. Um, you have these um, clips on the back. Now, the way that you operate these, you push that little tag down in the end there, and then that you need three hands for this. Once you push that down, it allows you to compress those two and lift that flap up. Got that? Good. I'm not doing it again. Right, now, you could do that with both of them. You can either attach this to your molly webbing, or you could slide it over a belt, right, and then reattach it down at the bottom there. So then that will pinch the belt in there, right, or your molly in there, or this is the killer. If you've got the 511 holster, the drop leg holster, or you can attach it to your belt. You can undo these and screw this to the holster and have it as an integral part of your holster. So you've got holster, gun, knife, all in one unit. Right, so a nicely thought out bit of kit with all the relevant hardware there to actually make that attachment possible. Right, um, the, like I say, the, the, the the sheath itself, listen, it really does retain the knife very well. Right, it doesn't want to come out without a bit of leverage against the, got a little bit of jimping on there. Right, thumb against that, finger against the, the chow, and out it comes. Right, you know, so if somebody just grabbed it from behind, they would find it quite hard to just yank that out of that sheath. I know we've we've played with this, right, and I'm, I'm right in what I say. Any queries, any questions in relation to this, please drop me a line, let me know. Uh, if I can't find the answer off the top of my head, I'll find someone that can. If you have any queries at all about any product, then drop me a line, please. Right, don't sit there and wonder for six months and then ask, but I'll straight away. But I'll see what I can do to find out. If you're new to Milk It Reviews, please hit the subscribe button. There are reviews coming out thick and fast. If there's anything that you need to know in the meantime, right, then please let me know. Right, um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.